That is how ChatGPT thinks of itself. I use it both personally and, and professionally. You know, you can collaborate with it. Uh, you can definitely, uh, but always make sure that you're forming your own point of view. You always want to keep uh, that human uh, aspect and you always want to make the final uh, recommendation too. So maybe, especially um, if you're looking to pivot or using it for ideas, um, make sure that uh, you can look at the work, you can also check it, but that you're not saying, oh, AI uh, told me this and just going blindly with that because it can hallucinate. So what that means is it's very sure of itself. You know, think about, you know, the, uh, the like the cockiest person that you know, and you're just like, yeah, I'm the best. I can never do anything wrong. That is how ChatGPT thinks of itself. They're very, you know, and so it does not like to be wrong. Now they're working on it right now. It's about less than 1% in the answer, but it's still not perfect. So it will not want to say, oh, I don't know this, or maybe I'm wrong. It might make something up. Um, so there was a, there was a writer who came out with an article and it was the top uh, books sold in 2025. But this writer used ChatGPT to put the list together, and three of those books were totally made up. ChatGPT did hallucinate. They made a fake book. Oh, yeah. So that poor writer now, oh my gosh, I got so many emails about that one. Like, no, he didn't. And he said, sure enough, like, yeah, I used ChatGPT to make this list. I didn't check it. You're going to have to find a new career. You can look that up as a bad example of what not to do.